Hey everybody! Well, with this stinking coronavirus, I have never been so happy to be a LEGO fan. It has given me something to do and will continue to give me something to do. But there you can see the two mocks. I can barely get them in the screen, so hopefully I'm back far enough. But we have the Boston building on the left, the new house building on the right. This is how they sit on Main Street in Salt Lake City. I am missing about seven plates for the sidewalk, but I can get those later. I have no idea if I'll be going to Brick Slopes because I have no idea if Brick Slopes will be going forward. But if I do, these will be there. But for now, on to the next mock. And for the next mock, it's going to be another little building in Salt Lake that has some bay windows. So what I thought I would do is put together set 10270, the bookshop, because it has that nice bay window right there. And I thought I'd show you a couple things that I really liked about this build. And, well, all set up here on my little kitty table, <laughs> since my other tables are occupied with those monster builds. And maybe I'll show you the scale of just what those builds look like compared to these builds, which are at most three stories. But, I, oops, sorry about that. I really liked this build. This has been one of my favorite creator builds. Loved the birch tree. It actually looks like a birch tree with the black and white. And then I really loved this staircase on the little apartment. Loved just how technical this build was. But again, the main thing I was looking at and I'm going to take off the roof. Well, I'll show you a couple things inside first. Assuming you can even see in there, we've got a bedroom on the top floor. We've got a dining area on that. I actually do not like this staircase. It changes the depth. It goes from two plates to a full brick right here, and then it goes to this what looks like a plate and it looks fine when the bedroom sits on top but you still got that tan frankly I would have made it brown so it matches the other stairs but that's the way it's designed probably so it looks like this when it's all put together and then they even did a little cellar with a mouse trap I thought that was kind of cool but the bay window I do like how they did this. They used the candlestick pieces with the essentially the droid robot arms up here on the top and then connected it all in. However, it does leave quite a bit of a gap. It's better than just having the three window pieces with the hinges and having a huge gap, but I'm wondering and what I'm going to try for my build because it has a double bay window is to see if just a row of singles will work kind of like what I did on the bottom of the Boston building you just need those rounded one by two plates to make it fit but this was I did like this I wanted to see exactly how they did it to see if I could work that in and maybe that's what I'll do but this was a very fun little build even has a spot down here where you can get out the ladder pretty cool then you got the bookstore over here, which roof comes off. There's your bedroom with your little chameleon in there. Looks like Pascal has come in useful for Lego from the, what was that, Tangled series. And then the next floor, you've got a sitting area. I really liked how they did the grandfather clock. It's actually, since it's built into the wall, here it's actually two separate pieces loved the staircase i think that's an ingenious use and if i do end up using the candlesticks for my build i may actually buy another one of these just for the parts because i can use a lot of this color of brick i can use all of the the plates um just tons of good pieces that you can get in these builds and then the main floor is again has a landing and then it's hard to see in there but then the bookstore on the bottom and this does have a lot of technical builds just with this 
holder right here for the tree, it's got a build that wraps around and so you've actually got it's a, a snot build where on the one side you have it hooking into the studs but on the other it's just floating and hooked in with the clips um, on the side. I really like this build and, and hope you all um, enjoy it as well. But I'm going to put this one back together so you can see the scale since these are obviously all minifig scale next to the Boston building. So that is what a three-story creator build looks next looks like next to an 11-story building of the same scale. But again, I hope you like this. Stay tuned for my next mock. I, it's going to be actually a five-story building, and I will probably build it onto the side of the new house building. Oh, and I could even show you I've... Uh, done some little embellishments, made some trash cans, if I can get around the back, made some mechanical rooms over there, or not the mechanical rooms, but the uh, the vents for the mechanical section on this building, added a little flower bed, little parking lot, and then some more mechanical. So that's it for those builds, they are 100% complete. And I'll be moving on to the next one. It's going to take me a while because I have never done a modular build. See you next time.